it is. In here, quickly, get the stuff out. Hurry, hurry. Uh, Lieutenant, they've got away with the whole consignment of grain, the whole lot, sir. As if Zorro's interference weren't enough, I've got to put up with these outlaws. I've had enough, this has got to stop! Hey, hey look, how did that get there? Grain. Yeah. Wow. wow. Incredible. What's going on? That looks like our grain. The load that the army robbed from us in taxes. Whoa. I think you're right. It is our grain. Yeehaw! Yay! We won't stop this win after all. Hi, Bernard. What are you playing? Guess. Let's see, with those masks on. I know you're playing outlaws. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know anything? We're supposed to be the Golden Tigers. The Golden Tigers? Yeah, they're the outlaws that stole back the people's grain from the army headquarters. We don't know who they are or how many there are, but they help us get back what the army takes. They stand for justice. Oh yeah, just like Zorro, you mean. Ah, uh, no one cares about Zorro anymore. It's the Golden Tigers now. You can take that back, Cassas. Zorro is the best and you know it. He's no match for the Golden Tigers. He's useless. Why, you... Wanna fight? Pig-headed... Uh, take that. Uh, uh, I'll get you. You just try it! Oh, yeah? Yeah! Uh, I'll, I'll get you! Yeah, come on, then! Uh, 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 Bernard, it's Gabriel. Quick, apologize to him! Oh, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean it honest. Huh. Just a bit of fun. Boys will be boys. Huh? I just bought some special candy. I think you may like it. Here it is. Now, you take it and share it out between you. Thank you. Here you are. Take care of yourselves now and enjoy your game. Huh? <laughs> Should we eat these, do you think? I'm not sure. Maybe they're poisoned. I don't believe it, Gabriel. I know, we couldn't believe it either. Cassas thought they might be poisoned. Do you think Gabriel has really changed, Diego? There's another thing. What do you mean? Apparently he's been helping people who are in trouble with the army. An old man told me Gabriel gave him a bag of money. And he was seen helping a lady who'd fallen over in the shed. He's always doing that. Yeah, but an old lady of about 80? That is odd, very odd. See? Well, I'm sure of one thing. Gabriel never did anything for anyone unless there was something in it for him. What? Robbers, do something, Diego! You're late, Diego. Huh? I wish you'd let me know in advance when you were going to attack me, Rico, old friend. So, are all of you outlaws then? Well, we prefer to be called the People's Liberation Army. It sounds much better. Haven't you ever heard of the Golden Tigers, Bernard? Mm-hmm. You're the ones that stole the greenback from the army, right? That's right. That's us. I'm glad you're all friends of Diego. 
Thanks, Diego. You were a great help. We couldn't have pulled it off without you. It was nothing. I didn't really do anything. It was my father's idea that you should bring the grain. He respects your sense of justice. He trusts you. I would have said that you had the stronger sense of justice. Well, you'll just have to keep up with me. By the way, Rico, what kind of harebrained scheme are you working on at the moment? Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of Commander Raymond. Huh? You serious? Never more so, my friend. It's about time that pompous oaf got what's coming to him. He's the cause of all our hardships, Diego. We're gonna use Gabriel to get some inside information. They say he's gone soft, started helping the poor and needy. That's just a rumor, Rico. I wouldn't trust that, Gabriel. There's no smoke without fire, Diego. Everyone says Gabriel's a reformed character. I think we can win him over to our cause. No! Rico, it's too dangerous. You mustn't risk it. He'll betray you. I know he will. That's a chance we'll have to take. The only way to attack is from the inside. Surely it's better to wait for an opportunity to strike rather than risk betrayal. It's worth the risk. Better that than wait and do nothing like you, Diego. Hey, Rico. Rico, we finished transporting the grain. Okay, everyone, let's go. Diego, thanks for bringing the supplies. Rico! Give my regards to your father, Diego. Come back! Diego! Diego! Where are Rico and his men going? Will we be back? Hmm. Those outlaws wait till I get my hands on them. Ah, thank you, Lolita. You know, you make the best tea I've tasted. Just what a weary soldier needs. It's no trouble, I assure you, Gabriel. Would you please get to the point? I can only stay a moment. I'm very busy. Well, mm, mm, ah, I don't know how to tell you. I'm afraid you might laugh at me. Hmm? I would never, never dare laugh at a military officer, Gabriel. That's just it, Lolita. I don't want to be a military officer anymore. I'm ashamed of what the army has made me do to innocent people. Throwing people in a prison for nothing, robbing them for taxes. How cruel we have become, I said. <laughs> Looks as if the rumors are true. Maybe he has changed. Don't upset yourself, Gabriel. If you want to change the way you are, people will understand and be glad of it. Do you think so? Yes. Oh, I hope you're right, Lolita. I really do. <laughs> Thanks, Lolita. I feel fine now. You're welcome. Please you ready? Come again yeah. Anytime. See you soon. Sure. Bye. Ah. Ah. Look out! Ah. 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 Hey, stop that! Stop! What do you get? Ah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hey, you look out, Hey, look out. I suppose you think that's funny. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Are you, are you all right? right? Oh, sure. Never felt better. Oh. Sorry, Lieutenant. Yeah, we real didn't mean sorry. It. Why, I ought to. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, you see how popular I am. I suppose I had that coming. Huh? huh? Lolita, I'm sorry to have caused this inconvenience on your doorstep. What? But it's, it's not... It's a sad fact, but true, that soldiers are unpopular. I shouldn't have come here today. And as for you... Uh... I want you to be good children and clean up this mess for Miss Lolita. Huh? 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 Uh -huh. What's the matter with him? He must be ill. He actually patted me on the head. Well, uh -huh. Bernard, what do you mean by doing that to the poor lieutenant? How could you? What are you standing up for him for? Because he's not what you think. He's... Oh. Could it be possible that Gabriel has really changed? Perhaps he is kind after all. Nah, you know what they say about leopards changing your spots. So the rumors are true. You're kidding. No, I'm telling you, he's sick of the army. 
I was there, I heard it all. He wants out. Just because he's sick of his job, it doesn't mean to say he's gonna take our side, Rico. I know that, but it's a risk I'm willing to take if it means we can overthrow the army. We'll carry out our plan as soon as possible, and then we'll see who runs this country. The people! Yeah! Yeah! The people! Yes, sir. I have done as you ordered and pretended to be against the army, but I'm still waiting for the outlaws to make contact. Mm-hmm. Should we change our plan, sir? If the assassins you hired worked harder, we wouldn't have to bother with any of this nonsense. Gabriel. But because of your ineptitude, we're forced to continue with our plan for the moment, Gabriel. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. Sorry, sir. This particular band of outlaws is very clever, and so far I've left no clues to their whereabouts, but they'll slip up, and when they do, we'll be waiting for them. They will contact you if they think you can provide them with information. So you just keep on pretending to be a friend of the people, convince them that you are to be trusted, and then we'll have them. Sir! Why is it always so cold when we are on patrol? I know. You! Huh? Lieutenant! <laughs> oh, Lieutenant Gabriel, where are you going? It's too cold to go out. Wouldn't you rather have supper with us? Oh, please do say yes. Oh, yes, yes Gabriel, Gabriel, say yes! yes. Uh, yes, well, I do have a slight headache and I must go home. Oh, oh come please! Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on! You are very popular with the ladies, sir. Uh, yes, well... You see, some of us have it, Gonzalez, and some of us don't. Well, you seem to have more of it than everyone else, sir. Huh. Good evening. The girls say he's nice. I want to marry him, or he's so kind. He should be the commander. <laughs> what? You mean instead of Commander Raymond? I don't know. I suppose so. Hmm. Huh? You, where is all the grain from this warehouse? Yeah, the outlaws did it, sir. They stole the grain and then set fire to the warehouse. We couldn't stop them. Outlaws again? Uh. Lieutenant. Commander Raymond! Ah! Lieutenant! Oh. So you can't even do a simple patrol duty without making a mess of it. You couldn't catch an outlaw if it walked right up to you. You are relieved of your duty, sir. <laughs> How dare he do that? How dare he talk to me like that? It's outrageous. How dare he? <sighs> He's humiliated me in front of the men. <laughs> Lieutenant Gabriel? Eh? No, don't turn around. Just listen to me. We mustn't be seen talking to each other. Rumor has it you're unhappy in the army and you want to leave. Now, is that true? Where did you hear that story? Who are you? And why do you want to know about me? All you need to know is I'm one of the outlaw gang that's been making trouble for the army. Now, answer my question. I've no intention of joining you, if that's what you mean. I just want to get along peacefully with the people in this town. You cooperate with us, Lieutenant, and we'll see that you do. All you have to do is tell us when the commander intends to go out of town. What? You mean Commander Raymond is your next target? You must be mad. He must be eliminated if we're going to change things around here. It's Raymond who is responsible for all the hardships that people face. Ah. It's him who gives the army a bad name. Surely it would be better for you if we got rid of him. Ah. Think about it, Gabriel. He'll be off your back. No questions asked. Think about it. Listen carefully, then. He's taking a patrol to the warehouse, the one that your outlaws destroyed yesterday. He goes tomorrow. Wait! At last, now we can ambush him. We've done it. Excuse me, sir. Huh? And then we must get rid of him, sir, once and for all. I see. Thank you, Jekyll. I'll leave the matter in your hands. Sir! 
and Gabriel about last night's unfortunate incident. Ah, yes, sir. I think under the circumstances I was a little hard on you, don't you think? You've been under a lot of stress lately and you deserve a rest. Why not take the day off? Oh, but sir, I... Uh... Not another word, Gabriel. I insist you take time off. Yes, sir. Fighting outlaws is tiring work, eh? By the way, Gabriel, have the outlaw gang made contact with you yet? Uh, uh, no, but I'm still pretending to like everyone like you said, sir. I see. There's the patrol leaving, sir. I do not understand why we are not going to, sir. Well, he told me to take the day off, so that's what we're doing, Sergeant. I see. Gonzalez, let's go! What? Lieutenant, where are we going, Lieutenant? Wait for me! Ready? Attack! Ah! Raymond, your reign of terror is at an end! Will you come quietly, or do you choose to fight? Answer me! Something is wrong, Rico. I got a funny feeling about this. Huh? <laughs> it's a trap! We're surrounded! <laughs> you thought you were being so clever, but I knew you'd make a mistake sooner or later. I've had a man watching you all the time. I knew Gabriel's plan was not good enough. Jacko, finish them. Yes, sir. Fire! Ah! Oh! Huh? Who's there? Lay down your weapons. I will not let you murder my friends. Let them go. Sorrow. This is an unexpected bonus. Fire! Run! Quickly, run! Thanks! Zaro! Oh no, it's Zoro! Zoro is fighting the commander! Come on, Lieutenant, we must go and help him quickly! No, Gonzalez. Let's go back. What? And leave the commander to... He's all right. Zoro won't defeat him. And if he does, then so much the better. But it will be none of my doing. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, we must help the commander! Give it up, Zaro. You'll never win against me. After this, you'll be glad to die. have to go? Yeah, I suppose you were right after all. There are not enough of us to overthrow the army, but I still say it was worth a try, even if we didn't pull it off, huh, my friend? But I think I've learned my lesson, Diego. Courage is not enough. I nearly sacrificed Zaro and my friends in my haste. Don't worry about us. We were ready for the danger. We were with you all the way. Yeah, I'm sure Zaro would agree with that, too. Hmm. Rico, I'd like to fight beside you when you get back, if it's all right with you. Okay? Sure thing. Maybe we could even persuade Zaro to fight with us. Then we'd stand a chance against the army. Hmm. Uh, 
Ah, Gabriel, it's nice to know you place so much faith in my skills as a swordsman. Huh? Oh, Commander! How was your day off? I trust you made the most of it and feel suitably refreshed and ready to resume your duties. You are, after all, my most reliable man. Would you uh, agree, Gabriel? Oh, yes, sir! Gabriel sure fooled us with all his acting, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Diego? Yeah? Do you think we'll ever be free of the army and people like Raymond? Well, of course we will, Bernard. And it won't take long with people like Rico and the Golden Tigers to help us. There is a legend that says vampires live in woods near the town, and when the army search the area, they certainly get a taste of the unexpected. An ancient and mysterious people are discovered living there, and the army is determined to disperse them. The injustice of this act is too much for a masked hero, and once again, the people's champion seeks to tip the scales in the right direction. Find out if he succeeds in the next adventure of Zorro!